Greetings everyone, Cloudproof here, welcome back to a brand new special episode. We're gonna tackle a really interesting topic this time, and that is building a base. Now, I haven't built a base in quite a while, and my permadeath runs on hardcore. I usually rely on the environment, especially on the base that's underneath the Elder's Altar. But uh, here we're gonna do a simple base, we're gonna do a base that you can build straight up from the meadows, and that a base that can actually carry you to the end of the game. So from Meadows all the way up until the end of the game. So this is how it starts. I have promised so many of you that we're, I'm going to do this. So uh, yeah, let's try and do this. Let's try and have this base right here. It's essentially a 4x8 starter base that has enough storage and enough space for every single activity that you want to... I hope you want to do in the entirety for the entirety of the game. So let's start here, we're gonna start simple. Let's just create a 4x8 structure. So the first room, yes, the first room is 4x4. Four four. Nothing fancy, just a 4x4 four four room. Let's just fill it up. Second room, second room goes, sa goes the same, 4x4. Four four. And if you wanna save some wood, you can start like this, with wood walls. So you're going to have a 4x4 four four wood wall structure that we're going to change in a second. So you don't need the actual uh, ground floor. Yes, yeah, the wood floor. Okay, now, this is the main structure. This is how it lo looks like. And I'm going to explain everything in a second here. So uh, in order for uh, your upgrades, this is our... Uh, one of first storage area and the stairs that we're gonna take us to the main bedroom. We're gonna have here some uh, store, some additional storage area and the working area. We can fit all four forges in here with all their upgrades, and I'm gonna prove it to you in a second. Not only that, we're gonna have adjacent to this, we're gonna have a kitchen. We can work under the kitchen like this. We can have the kitchen right here. It's it's about uh, you can have it as long as you. Maybe you can make this kitchen as long as you wish. Maybe for some extra space, you can do a. Uh, what's this? Two by six. You can have a two by six kitchen. If you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller. It's it's fine. It's up to you. So basically, this is the layout. So double, four by four rooms, which is a four by eight structure. Let's go from above so you can actually see the outline of it. Okay. Right, so that's a 4x4, four four, another 4x4. Four four. Let's quickly repair here. And then a 2x6 here for the kitchen. Now, what we can do here, the next step, is obviously we're going to hold on. <laughs> let's, have, let's have floors here too. We can have floors here, and then we're going to talk about the next step. We're going to cover this entire area, our working area, and we're going to have our upgrades underneath the floor. This is how we're going to conceal all of our stations, and this will save you a ton of space. Like I said, this base is able to take you all the way up to the uh, to the end of the game. I Usually what I do, I destroy these uh, tiles, and I make an entrance here. Let's add some uh, floors down there if you're really aesthetical. You can have these ones. If you like these ones better, you can have these ones. I <laughs> couldn't care. Yeah, you choose which which stairs or letters um, you wish. I go for these ones because they take less space. And usually I just jump here. So I'm going down here and just jump here up here. Same thing for the kitchen. You can have a you can have a slopey thing in there. Yeah, let's just let's just have that so we have some sort of a symmetry here. Okay, we can have like this, and then two wooden ladders just for oopsies, just for fun here. Right, so we are in the hammer mode. We don't have um, if you if you destroy a structure in the hammer mode, you don't get the wood back. Okay, so basically you can build this house without needing to go into the dark forest. Or the black forest. Keep calling it dark and black forest. I keep mixing things up. Next, we're gonna have a wall here that's gonna stretch all the way up. So let me see one second here if I can actually. Yeah, there we go. 
Work on this. We're gonna have a door right here. Make sure you place the door like this. So, uh, so it opens like this. I don't know which way is the <laughs> best way to put it. So make sure you have this um, this side of the door, right? Orientating your um, chest. There, we're, we're gonna have a ton of chests here on this side. That way you can have a small window here which will add a bit of natural light in your build. And that will help a lot. Trust me, <laughs> you want some light in here. Okay, next I'm gonna have another window right here. We're gonna go like this. And we can usually we can go and fill the rest of the walls up just like this small structure one by one one by two structure there is this called one by two no wood half wall <laughs> okay there oopsies almost <laughs> we're getting there okay so this is the main storage room right Okay, we're gonna have a nice platform here. We're gonna have ladders, or you can have. The thing is, you can't really have stairs because you don't have the space for the stairs. But you kind of need to have ladders here. We're gonna work on this a bit later. Let's finish this area up. This shouldn't take us that much time. So I'm usually having two large windows for natural light in here. I do love some natural light in my build, so. Uh, this is not the ideal place for natural lighting, but still. Okay, so let's just get higher here. Just raise the walls. So you're gonna have... Another cool thing about this build is you're gonna have enough stability for the rest of the build. Does this look weird now? Kinda does. Okay, give me a second here. Let's quickly fix this. Make sure they all face the same side. There, nice. Nice and smooth. Okay. Like I said, this structure, this build will be able to take you all the way up until the end of the game. You're gonna have plenty of storage, plenty of everything, and it's a super cool build that you can actually have worked for weeks on this design. Maybe some of you don't like it. You don't have to like it, honestly. <laughs> it's not a beautiful design, it's a very efficient one. So you're gonna have, like I said, all the all the forges in here and everything else. We're gonna work on the kitchen right now. Now you can have a really fancy kitchen here with a lot of natural lightning, if so, if you wish so. You can go something like this. You can go something like this with the kitchen. Okay. Let's just finish walling it up. So there, you're gonna have a door. Simple as that, so some natural lightning in the kitchen too. Why not? Like I said, I'm all about that natural lightning. Okay, let's finish up. So this will be our kitchen area. We can work on we can work on it later. Some more. Nice door there. Like I said, it won't be a pretty build, but it will be a very effective build. So this is how your building should look like by now, if you follow these these steps and these instructions. Like I said, working area with extra storage, storage area, and on top of this will be the bedroom and a simple kitchen next to next to those areas. Right, so let's have some floor for the master bedroom where we're gonna sleep. You're gonna have a nice nice deck here too. Oopsie daisies. Okay, we need we need that space so we can actually climb up here. Now this works either way, you can have the chest on this side and you can have the ladder on this side it's totally fine you can have it all the way you, you want in here you can make maybe that would be even better but it's fine the, the fire will cover your bed so you will be able to get your rested buff and everything else it's just fine okay we're having corners we're having large windows here same thing here we're gonna have the door i uh, mean i mean we need a door like this <laughs> on this side, unfortunately. Okay. So we can have a small little window here. It will be a really special window. In terms of structure integrity, like I said, it's super duper fine. You can uh, you can build... It only get to orange up here. So this is yellow. The roof will get to orange stability. 
so it's totally fine. It's totally um, this can be a bit of a hold on. We can we can be smarter about this, can we? No, not really. Oh come on. Oh no, because of the snapping points. No, okay. I was about to say it's it's not like I'm saving wood here. That's fine. Okay. So over here. Let's have it like this, this wall. So we have, like I said, some symmetry in here. You can have the windows as fancy as you like. I just go like this for the windows. So I have as, as more light as possible in here, as much light as possible. Right, so now we can work on the actual roof. This is, <laughs> this is not that complicated, like I said. So you can start placing the roof tiles here. I just we're gonna keep this step-by-step -step tutorial so you won't get confused we can have some extensions for the roof as well later on it will be super nice and super it's super okay if you do so make sure all the roof goes all the way down and cover the kitchen covers the kitchen too so that would be, we're going to have a covered kitchen area. Unfortunately for this window, I forgot about this. Oh, I forgot about this. This kind of needs to go. Sorry. Yeah, just because of the, of this wall, of this wall right here. Also here, I, that wasn't placed there. I, am, I, it was a mistake. My bad. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like I'm building this every single time, but yeah, you should build it every single time you get the, you get the occasion or the opportunity because like I said it's super duper efficient yeah and on top of this you can have like a small little area like this for the smoke to pile up and evacuate nothing fancy we're doing just a small design here so it doesn't look completely weird <laughs> it's it's fine okay this is my idea of a perfectly perfectly efficient base, if you ask me. So, this is what I do. Like I said, this is what I play with. This is what I'm going to have in the meadows for, uh, for the melee challenge as well. It's super easy, super efficient. I will tell you everything about it. You can obviously improve a lot of things about this build. Let's just close. Close these areas, like like so. It's a good thing they moved the snapping points. You can now shift through through the snapping points. That's super convenient, and you can build super fast with that. Bam! There we go. Nice. Now we can work on the deck here. Just a second. You can have the deck go like this, as much as you want. Now we're gonna have this boulder right here in the way. It's fine. What I wanted to build into this structure because, oopsies, never happened before, we have no hammer. <laughs> I wanted to build into these structures because I wanted you to see that you can actually fit an entire house that will take you to the end of the game into this structure. And it's a relatively flat structure and will help you a lot throughout the rest of the game. It's super easy to flatten because it's already there, it's already flat. For some design purposes you can go for these. You can go for these guys, placed like this. If I could see in here, it's kind of dark. Hold on, it's like this, yeah. I think it's fine. Rightfully so, then we're gonna place some wooden pole, one meter wooden poles. I think I can't, I can't, oopsies, I don't think I can place one right there, but it's fine. Then you're gonna have some beams, from two meter beams. We're gonna go like this. I keep rushing, I don't know why I keep rushing. <laughs> when did ever good things came out of rushing things? That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. So with this done and out of the way now, you can work on the slope of the roof as well. Oh, we have an area. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. 
We have an open area here. We have a breach. Don't want those death mosquitoes in your base. <laughs> so. Okay, we're gonna close it up. Like I said, feel free to improve the build. I'm sure you can make it nicer. I'm sure you can make it look more interesting and lively. I'm gonna show you also where I place my uh, all my lightning in the house. Can I get a top? Top two. Thank you. There we go. I usually go like this with the build. Over here too, so we have... Um, so we can cover this uh, front deck here. Upper deck. And for additional design, you can actually go and extend this all the way up here. If it makes, if you think, if you think it makes it look better, or any better, I don't know. Does this make it look any better? Not really, no. Okay, so you can go like this. Right, this is the base. This is how it looks from the outside at this point. So we got it covered. Everything is covered. Let's eat first. So I get that stamina back. So this is how what we have so far. Super easy, super fun. Now let's go inside and work on the inside of the base. First things first, let's have some torches in here. Let's have some light. So you can actually see what's happening. You can have one here, one here. Um, this is not necessary, actually. What I usually do is, this is a place for the hearth. And later on in the game, I'll actually can show you, you can fit a hearth in here. You can also fit yourself. <laughs> you can fit yourself in here. So this is the hearth and you can have all the upgrades placed on uh, one by one wooden floors on top of it. So it's super fun and super easy to build. We're going to have a nice fire here for now. Let me just spawn some wood. So we can have on the fire. Good, nice. I want just to see the smoke mechanics, that you're not going to get smoked in here. Not one bit. You can extend this further down. Right, so in terms of storage, in terms of storage, what I usually do is destroy these tiles and turn them around like this, so I can have perfectly stored chests. Ooh, wait. Before that, let's do this. Let's have the stairs done. Let's have the stairs finished like this and I usually go for these pieces here because they kind of look come on give me give me this give me this game <laughs> see now the stairs look kind of cool I <laughs> can't do anything else for them right so you can have some extra storage underneath here I'm gonna place two chests in here it a night extension here there we go so I'm only gonna use normal chests I'm gonna tell you at the end how much would you actually spend for the entire house or you can have a nice door here sort of a hidden closet underneath the stairs a cute little closet there okay let's have some double chests here too now these don't need to be perfect and I'm not gonna bother myself to place them perfectly right now so as well, a cute little storage area. This little area, what I usually do, and I'm going to show you my uh, how I organize things. You can uh, follow my way or you can do it your way. The, you can have this little area for um, all the biomes. You usually have all the random items that you get from the biomes, like monster drops, trophies, and even some uh, resources like, um, let's say, uh, what... Let's see, obsidian, right? So obsidian or lock spells and stuff like that. Basically, everything that you get drop, everything the monsters drop, you can have it in here, in these chests, and all these four uh, stacks of chests, basically, they're gonna cover all the biomes, all eight biomes, even even the one that's not already updated or uh, finished. Right. So, oopsies. Hold on. It's a bit hard to 
see right here. So if, if you have problem with automatic snapping, so for instance, this one jumps right there, you can hold your shift key, most of you know this, to place the slab wherever you want, or the wooden floor. Where's my chest? There we go. So these won't be perfectly aligned. I don't want to spend too much of your time with this, or waste too much of your time. But like I said, I want to build it step by step so you see everything. Okay, so this is the first area of storage. What I usually do next is uh, not just as, okay bottom. <laughs> I create. I use these wooden poles, purely aesthetical, sort of purely aesthetical. So we'll make this area look a bit better. You can have one there too. Okay, like this. There we're gonna have our signs and everything else. So this area is finished. It's 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 a bit crowded, I know. But like I said, it's about uh, functionality and not about anything else. Ooh, we don't have torches in here. Let's have some wooden torches in the bedroom. So we have some light in here. You don't need that many torches, just enough to see, because you don't want to waste resin. I know you're going to get a ton of resin. However, uh, <laughs> later on, or if you're going to play the archer, and as you can see, you can have your spawn point here too, because the bed is near the fire. So later on, yeah, sure, why not? If you're not, if you're not going to play the archer, you know you won't need the torches, but for now, I'm going to need a ton, ton of torches. Right, in here, what I usually do is go for some extra storage, like so. Obviously, we're gonna place them like this. Uh, we're gonna take over the kitchen next, next thing, in the next moment. So same thing, I usually align torches on the floors to the middle, so these are middle sections like this. Like I said, I'm not gonna waste too much time bothering now with the chests. But you get the point, you can have your chests super easy here. And this will provide additional storage for you. Now you can label these for your needs. For instance, if you're gonna play arrow, if you're gonna play arrow, <laughs> if you're gonna play an archer, you're obviously gonna have some arrows in here in these chests. If you're gonna play um, melee, maybe you want some extra spots for, uh, for swords and uh, items like that, some extra storage units. You can you can transform this to your own according according to your label the chest. Oh my god, what am I talking about? You can label the chest according to your own playstyle. If you wanna if you wanna have a combination of both, you can just do that. So yeah, this is this is how I'm gonna do it here. This is gonna roll with. We're gonna end up with these chests here. Same purely aesthetical. We're gonna go for some. Uh, Two meters wood poles. Snap at the bottom there. And again, hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, we can go like this. To make things look a bit smoother here. Oopsies, <laughs> I went on the way wrong. Okay. There. I think they look kind of cozy in here. Right, so you can have. Let's also place, since we're. Should, should we? Should we? Let's do this. Okay, so we can have the workbench. I usually have the workbench right here. Okay, so there's the workbench. Let's see for the upgrades. You're gonna have the tanning rack. Tanning rack can go right there. Also, you can go underneath here. So you can have the chopping block and the rest of the upgrades as you progress through the entire game. There. And you can see it totally works. Level 3 is completely functional. Now later on in the game you can fit... I'm gonna, just going to show it now for <laughs> for the purpose of this video, right? But you can fit all types of... Um, all the other forges in here. For instance, you can have the black metal one here. Let's just see how I can place it. You can place it like this. Where's my golder table? Oh no, wait. It was the golder table here. There we go. These kind of take a lot of space. Our little forge, the black metal would go there. You can you can move them around here. You can see where is my normal forge? I can't spot my normal forge. There was my normal forge. Goodness. Okay, you can have the normal forge here with all these upgrades, and the black forge. Yeah, was the black forge because it's a bit larger. 
so hard for me to spot them now. What's wrong with me? Okay, so see, you can fit them all in here, and the upgrades can go underneath, and maybe you can throw one or two around here as well, on top, like this. But we're not gonna have these in here, because like I said, this will cover only meadows, so... If you're in the meadows and you have a ton of wood at your disposal, you can build this, and it will take you all the way up until the end of the game. Nice place for two fermenters here. We're gonna have two fermenters right there. But right now, since we don't have those, we can work on some extra storage here. Extra storage area for the kitchen, for your food, for your ingredients. I usually keep the ingredients in the kitchen, so all the ingredients that I need for uh, cooking, they're in the kitchen. So I don't have to go around and look for them in every single chest. Now, obviously, if you want to build a outpost somewhere, or an outpost, you can do so. You don't need to build this every single where, every single, uh, everywhere you go. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> it's hard to focus and build at the same time. And if you want, you can have even some additional storage right here. We can do that, actually. Let's do that. Let's have some insane additional storage right here. Why not? And right now, you will always have a ton of storage units for the kitchen. So nobody will say, oh, no, what am I done? It's not enough storage for me in the kitchen. I can't put all my things there. Now you can, you can have all your things in the very kitchen where you live in. Oh, yeah, we haven't saved in. Ooh, half an hour. Jesus, took me half an hour to build this. Right, so uh, you can label them as much however you want. So, for instance, you can have one label here for meats, one label, label here for vegan. Like I said, you can label these for uh, stone and wood, random items, ore, you can have ore here. I usually use the white writing type, right? So, yeah, we can label them however we want. Usually place the labels like this and one there. So this is how it looks like. We're gonna take you I'm gonna take you in a super super fun tour at the end of it. So this is our cozy little base. And yeah, like I said, I'm super happy with this build. It's super efficient. You're having a ton of storage inside, and you can fit all the crafting thingies in there. You're gonna have all your um uh, Upgrades for resting, for getting the rest of the buff in the bedroom, right? So every single furniture that improves your resting buff, you can have it in the bedroom. So yeah, this was uh, this was the base. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you when I find a better build than this one, or a more efficient one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.